And finally, part D, we want to show that the approximation found in part C is within one thousandth of the exact value of f of 1.2. And um, we can see, so based on this material, that uh, the, let me just put this out here, the general term for, uh, for this Taylor series evaluated at 1.2 is going to be, so um, we have this nth term is going to be negative 1 to the n times n minus 1 factorial over 2 to the n all over n factorial times 1 fifth, so it's 1.2 minus 1 to the nth power. And working this out, we end up with um, negative 1 to the n all over n times, and we have this 2 to the n down here and this 5 to the n times 10 to the nth power. So it's going to be this alternating uh, series where um, the terms getting closer and closer to zero, and and the magnitude of the terms decreasing. So, this, so I say um, f of one point two is written as an alternating. series um, where the magnitude of terms decreases towards zero. And that's an important thing because um, what happens is this. So if it's alternating, we, we sort of take a positive step and a negative step, and a positive step and a negative step. And as long as the magnitude de um, decreases towards zero, so we can start somewhere, take a positive step this way, the next step has to be shorter than the first one, and what happens is no matter how I do it, I can't get past this one. And so I can't go past this point that we have, and it just sort of goes like this, and I can never leave these bounds made by two consecutive um, partial sums of the series. So we remember, recall that um, we estimated with three terms, so the third, sorry, that was the second degree Taylor polynomial, we got 181 over 200. And we know that, based on this information, the difference between the actual value of 1.2 and the uh, current approximation, t sub 2, of 1.2 has to be actually less than or equal to, um, but they're actually decreasing, so it has to be less than. I'll put this equal to here, just in case we allowed them to have the same value. It still would work as long as they do decrease towards zero. Um, but it has to be less than the third term of my series. Well, I guess that's uh, the, the third degree term. The third degree term is going to be this to the third power. So I have, I guess the magnitude of it. So I'm going to have negative 1 to the third, doesn't make any difference with that absolute value in there, um, all over 3 times 10 to the third, which is going to equal 1 over 3,000, which is clearly less than 0 0.001. That's 1 over 1,000. So all this together shows that 
we have to be um, within one thousandth of the actual value of f of 1.2.